international market. Today our top is left and right edge bender line for batch size 1 flexible productions. Please come here to look our poster. Please see, please see here. This is the feeding area. This is the uh, feeding side. The Verpix the scanner device will scan the barcode or QR code on the Verpix and then Verpix will go through the flexible side alignment device. The side alignment device uh, to the fence here and then go through the first edge bender machines then go through the conveyor table and the other and the second edge bender here. After this process the Verpix will be finished two size edging in one process. So all these units, we control all these units by a supervisor. Please follow me go this way. Today our main topic is the supervisor. So through this supervisor we scan up and read the data from other software. We just in uh, we just preset uh, the soft the program from other software here and then use barcode scanner to scan the barcode and then we can call out the program in supervisor. The supervisor will give order to each unit to control the different option. So this is the usage of the supervisor. By supervisor problem to link with other software like uh, we use Finns China software here and also the other different brand. And on the other hand, please see the screen here. In the supervisor, we have machine 1 and machine 2 station, his work, his work condition here. So uh, by supervisor, we can see if this one works well or not and also the second one if it works well or not. And not only for the edge bender but also for the conveyor. We can start and close the conveyor by supervisor by this touch screen. And supervisor is super linked with the mass system. So the mass system handling the after that the mass system will give information to supervisor and supervisor is executed for uh, the order from the mass systems. Please follow me to go here. As we can see this edge bend line in front of that in front of here is the buckle scanner and the uh, QR code scanner, but of course uh, the labeling can be QR code or barcode. So we can preset the program to scan barcode and QR code. This is the camera to scan it. After we scan the barcode or QR code, then uh, the workpiece will go through this area and go into the measurement device. And then it's the flexible push system to do the side alignment. After it against to the machines, the work piece will go through it. Now we will show you some sample here. Please come here to see our cooperator, our operator. Because this edge bender line is for the batch size one, it can fit in the different color and different size, different dimensions in, on this line. Now you can see, you can follow the camera to see the first workpiece go to the 
uh, measurement device. So this measurement device, his function, his function is to check the fitting length of the rear peaks. After that, he has he will get the information of these rear peaks, and then the information will be fit into will be sent into the supervisor, and the supervisor will let the machines calculate uh, when is every when is the suitable time for each unit to work. The traditional way to to calculate the uh, process time is by a travel switch. But by the travel switch, the information is accurate when you use the single machines. But for the line machines, you have to calculate the conveyor speed, conveyor roller speed, and first edge bender speed, the second edge bender speed, and the middle conveyor speed. So, after we integrate all these units into the supervisor by the measurement device, we can, we can finish this job very easier. Now, in the camera is the uh, pusher system, the flexible pusher system. His function is to do the side alignment. We can see two group units of it. One is on in the inner size, the other one is the outside. So after the measurement device get the information, and this information will be sent to the uh, side alignment system, the flexible side alignment system. Then the side alignment system will go will go to the right position to stand by and wait for the workpiece coming. So we can save lots of ties. Uh, for the prepare tight uh, for the side alignment device and this side alignment device he has two glue unit he has two glue unit the inner units can handle 300 the, the inner one can handle 300 to 1.2 meters width of wear picks and the out one can handle 1 1 1,195 millimeter to 3 meter uh, rear piece to do the side alignment especially used for the long shot P like this one okay please follow me to see our left and right line expander By this view side, we can see very clear and very in details how the side alignment device to do the job. When the rear piece is bigger than 1.2 meter, the first one raises up, and then the second one do the side alignment. But when the rear piece is shorter than 1.2 meter, the second the second one stand by. The first one go down and then do the side alignment. Let's see our uh, edge bender. Our edge bender is PC control here. So, uh, sense for the PC control, the left and right edge bender with the supervisor. And each machine is equipped with the two glue pots. So, we can use the white glue on the first glue pot and the dark, co dark color glue on the second glue pot. Um, we don't need to change the glue pot when we use the um, when we use in process. Just a quick change to switch glue one or glue two, then can realize these functions. So this is its advantage. It's very flexible on the best size one productions, and. We can see one group pot coordinate, cooperate with four taste change systems. So by these four taste change, uh, taste change systems, we can back up four different size and four different color 
edge tapes here. And the other and the other way to use is we can stem we can back up the same thickness and same color after one edge tape finish the second one will continue continues without breakout. So two four H pace change systems provide a different com uh, com combinations. For example, the white color edge, the white color is suitable to use with the white color surface of the rear peaks. So the edge tapes here, uh, we stress to use white color edge tapes, white color blue and white color uh, surface of the rear peaks. So the edge bending results is very good. It's they mix up the color. So voltage change systems provide a possible and provide a possible and easy for us to check just by the quick check, quick switch on the on our supervisor or on this PC. And at the crew application. We use 50 millimeter uh, roller. Replace the old style, old one. The old types is 35 uh, millimeter as the diameter, but the new one is 50 millimeter. So the bigger one provide a more uh, provide a better glue result. The bigger one provide a better groove results, so we can realize 38 kg per minute as for the grooving. And we use the pre-mount system. So the pre-mount system, we can pre-mount on the top unit, and after that, the groove will go to the groove port, and then uh, do the edge bending directly. So, use pre melt system, we can prevent the glue is carbonized. After, uh, if the glue is carbonized, then the color will be black. The white glue becomes dark color glue, so the edge, the edge bending results is, will, be, will be worse than the normal situations. So, that's why we equip with the two pre-mount system on the top. And since for these different combinations, we can realize to do the batch size one and do the customized products, we can choose the first and the second size. We can choose the first and second size with the, with the different color at taste and the different color group. So for the traditional, uh, for the batch size one products, products uh, mindset, we can choose three thick uh, as the edge size and the one thing as the, uh, as the first size for edge bending. And this is the pure arm. This is the pure device. So, equipped with the pre mount systems, we can connect with the PUR systems. By this PUR systems, PUR can, PUR can provide a better edge bending results and, uh, and also for the water resistance. We know that uh, PUR uh, stick, PUR glue stick is very strong. So for some, for some uh, special environment, the heat, uh, the heat yeah. is high. Then we can use PUR glue to overcome this situation uh, to the problem. And the glue roller here, we use one big glue roller 
plus six small Gorilla. And the group, uh, Gorilla has a little bit in the light, around three degree, for the better stick on the rear pick, for the better um, stick results with the edge tapes and the rear picks. And one big Gorilla plus six small Gorillas provide a full uh, enough space to do to do the edge bending. Here, here is the M cutting the dial wheel, M cutting units with MT stroke. Thanks for the MT stroke. The, the dial weight M cutting uh, can reach to mass uh, mass peak as 26 meter per minute. After the rear piece go through six, and after the M cutting finish finish the slipping on two sides, he will come up and then re return to stand uh, return to be back up and waiting for the next rear piece. So by this unit, we can realize to in, uh, to reach the mass speed is 26 meter per minute, and also. We can realize the longer panel gap between two rear pigs. Now we will show you a rear pig, a rear pig coming. So we can close to this unit to see his action. Now. The, the M cutting unit go in and then do a sleeping. After that, he will turn out. He will turn back and then return. The second unit. The second unit is two sets of five trimming. So the first one, we can put R1 tooling and the second one, we put R2 tooling. We know that R1 is suitable for the uh, edge tape, which thickness is small is small than small is less than one millimeter. Okay. So we say that 0 0.4, 0 0.8, or one millimeter. We use I R1 tooling, and one millimeter, 1.5, two millimeter. We can use R2 tooling. So we have two. Uh, by trimming, then it can uh, it is flexible, so we can have a quick change and quick switch on the PC and the supervisor. And each by trimming unit, we can record we can record two positions. For example, this one we install R1 tooling, then we can record 0.4 millimeter and one millimeter uh, positions. So that the series, the series is we adjust the depth of the tooling uh, for the different size, for a different thickness of the edge tapes. So the second one we can preset one millimeter or one point five millimeter and two millimeter as two record uh, position as to recall the position because here we use uh, pneumatic control we use similar to do uh, to control this different record position after the five trimming is our corner rounding so four belay corner rounding is good is good to uh, which speak as 22 meter per minute so, and on the other side, sense for the four belay corner trimming unit is very good to do the paper stick on the surface. I mean, the work picks with paper stick, some sensitive materials on the surface. Because four corner, uh, four corner trimming unit, they only do the corner trimming on four corner, just a little bit. 
uh, compared to the down race corner trimming unit, they always do the corner trimming on top surface and the button surface. So if you use down race corner trimming to do the sand stick, stick, paper stick on the surface, it's very easy to scratch the surface of the rear pick. But by four corner uh, rounding unit, it will not happen like this. It will not happen this situation. And since for the four corner trimming units, uh, in the speed as 22 meter per minute, we can control the to control the panel gap at 650 millimeter between two wheel peaks. Please come here to see the action of this corner trimming unit. As you can see, every unit is responsible for one corner. They just do the corner on the corner positions. So by this way, it will not scratch the surface of the rear pigs. And also, and of course, the speed is will be faster and easy to control the panel gap to be smaller to increase the capacity. After the corner trimming, here is two sets of scrapping units. Two scrapping units is called, uh, co can coordinate with the two five trimming units. So we suppose the five trimming units one equipped with the R1 tooling. So the scrapping one equipped with the R1 tooling also. They coordinate to work together. Please come here. This is the off-cut device. The off-cut device is to is to cut off the wire after do the edge bending, after the fine trimming and scrapping. Then the off-cut will cut off this will cut off this wire to make the results more beautiful. And this here is the fresh scrapping. By fresh scrapping, we can clean the groove on the surface. We can cut off the groove on the surface by the fresh scrapping. And the oscillating buffing, oscillating buffing, when he, when he was working, he will move in and move out to improve the buffing, the buffing result and um, to extension the using life of the buffing wheel. After buffing on these machines, it is the grooving. Normally, we will equip with two buffing units. So the buffing one and the buffing two. The buffing one will handle the white groove uh, wear picks. The buffing tool will handle the dark color glue wear picks. Two buffing units avoid to mix up the color and make the panels very dirty. But because of the uh, space limit, the customer want to add the groove unit to replace one buffing unit. So here we put a grooving unit here to do the grooving on button size. So as you can see, as, we, as for this edge bender, its function is mainly to according, uh, it's mainly according to the two groove pause option. Because at the beginning of the edge bender, he has two groove pods as option, uh, has two groove pods and one groove pod for and two groove pods for two different. So at the 
back side. The the fire trimming aggregate, the scrapping aggregate, and the, and the buffing aggregate can choose two sets to um, to cooperate with the two glue points. After rapids come out from the first edge bender, he will go on the conveyor table. The rapids will go on the conveyor table here, and the conveyor and the conveyor table, and the first. Uh, the first part of the conveyor table is straight, is straight roller to ensure the rear piece can be finished processed uh, in the right in the right positions from the first edge bender. The rapids come here, then the straight roller guide P go to the straight. So because some rapids go out and some still in the edge bender, so the straight roller is very important to guide the rapids to finish the edge bending in right positions. After that, the second part is the incline rollers to guide the rear piece against to the right side. So at the here is the measurement device to measurement the length, the fitting length of the rear peaks. And then he gives information to the side alignment device. And the side alignment device can go to the right position to stand uh, to stand by and do the side alignment. So we can see in front of the edge bender, it is the fitting system to help the rear piece can go into the edge bender smoothly. After go through the second edge bender machines, then this work piece will be finished two size edge bending in one process. So this is the left and right line, left and right side edge bender line uh, for the batch size one products for the flexible products. In our in one of our customers' factory, they calculate the capacity. One left and right edge bender line, his, his capacity is faster than four single edge bender. So, uh, the left and right lines not only can reduce the operator, as we know that if we, we operate two individual edge bender, we need at least four people. So two people fitting in front of two edge bender two people at the rear peaks after two edge bender but by left and right line we only use two people one feeding the rear piece in front side and one collect the rear piece at the back side and on the other hand not only in, uh, reduce the labor cost but also can increase the capacity because one left and, and right edge bender line his capacity is bigger and his uh, is higher than four individual expander in our customers' experience. Now here we see some demo to show uh, how this light works.
As you can see, this line is very long. Normally, if we do the bed size one, normally if we do the bed size one, the head, the painful, and the head day things, the operator need to run to the first edge bender and the second edge bender frequency. They need to adjust on the first edge bender uh, and also the second edge bender bending always finish edge bending uh, two sides together but since for the supervisor we can set into the provisor and also uh, we can set into the supervisor we can through the supervisor to set up two machines together and also we can input the program from other software in supervisor and then set up two machines so we can reduce many times to run between first machines to second machines on batch size one production. So these are all. These are all my our introduction of left left and right uh, side edge bender line for uh, batch size one productions. After that, if you have any questions or uh, you want to know more about information about the left and right edge bender line or you want to get some videos, the quotations you can contact our sales, uh, our sales partner and your business sales partner for announcing so we will give you uh, quotations and the price of these lines so our demo is finished today thanks for your patient listening Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.